Hi, I'm Rebecca Ryan. I'm a shamanic witch in Melbourne, Victoria. I have lots of people asking for recommended reading, particularly for witch schools, so I thought I'd take just a few minutes to show you what they are. This is something well loved, as you can see, called Ritual Magic by Donald Tyson. I recommend anything at all written by Donald Tyson. Ritual Magic is an absolute just showstopper for the history of magic, um, ritual magic, what it is, how to do it, uh, where you would use it, why you would use it. It's fantastic. Can't recommend it highly enough. And as you can see, my copy is well loved. And we refer to this often in witch school. So if you can get your hands on it, please do. It's um, it's the kind of thing that you would have your entire life. And the information is very clearly presented and very well written. Uh, the next one that I'd recommend, so a book of spells. This is Pamela J. Ball's uh, book, which is called The uh, Ultimate Book of Spells. It says, A Complete Guide to Using Magic to Improve Your Life and the World Around You. Uh, heaps of spells. Again, very well loved. Heaps of spells in the back. Um, another benefit, other than just the fact that you have written down spells from someone who's clearly a master at her spell work, is that the first half of the book is... Um, a journey through what is shamanism, uh, what is geomancy, what are runes, what are oems, um, what is the wheel of the year. So this might answer questions that you might have even before you've asked the question. So for um, just a quick grab of information that's out there, this is great and the spell works fantastic. A really good thing about this book is that you can get it online and I believe it's free. So if you look, uh, often the cover looks like this, sometimes it's not quite, but look for Pamela J. Ball, Ultimate Book of Spells, and you should be able to download it for free. Next one is um, Silver Raven Wolf, very, very famous writer. This is called Hedge Witch, that spells, crafts and rituals for natural magic beautifully put together, really, really easy to use. There's a little bit of intro and using the, um, the language of the universe, which is a language of essence and a language of feeling. So a little bit about what that is. And then 13 rites. So uh, a rite is, as she's presented it, is uh, there's the, like a mantra that you would say for the day or for the week, depending on whether you're going through the rites quickly or taking your time a little bit more. So there's a mantra, there's something to focus on. Then there is something to do in your house, so it might be about um, clearing out energy to make room for more of you. It might be um, clearing out old jewellery, etc, etc. So there's something to do around your house, which is practical and easy and wonderful. Then there are ingredients that you would buy to make the spell or to do the ritual. So those ingredients might be a yellow candle, uh, a white feather and some chamomile. So not exotic ingredients. You would then sit down in the evening and um, centre yourself, do a small meditation, uh, do the ritual and then have something to show or to keep for it. So this is, you've made um, an embodiment, so you might use a key or it might be a picture that you've drawn or something that you've collected that day. So that when you want to use that energy again, you have an anchor for it. So you have built a small witchcraft kit from which you can draw particular energies when you need them. It's fantastic. Really, really good. Um, as I said, it's simple. I wouldn't recommend doing a, a write every day for 13 days unless you can devote 13 days off to be able to concentrate and really focus on what you're doing. I recommend doing them one, one write per week and taking your time and really understanding the energy well. But um, it's fantastic. I refer back to it often and I have lasting keepsakes of those different kinds of energies. Fantastic. Really good. And lucky last is The Shaman's Body. And this is this little one. It's written by Arnold Mindel. Uh, the Shaman's Body. It says, A new shamanism for transforming health, relationships and the community. It's fascinating. It's, um, it's quite a heavy book. It's incredibly well researched. It's the story of shamanism and what it is to be a shaman in the modern era. How to get the most out of your shamanic powers and how to apply them for the betterment of all things around you and yourself. Um, it's quite a heavy read. It's not, it's not a technical book. It has exercises at the back of every chapter. I have seen people start this and then stop it for six months and start it again. If you're particularly called to shamanism, this is a body of extraordinary research and how to apply it directly to your life with um, a fair bit of ease. Uh, it, in, it asks for a lot of personal inner inquiry. If that's your thing, this is the book that I recommend for you. Those are the books of Witch School. Thank you for listening and I look forward to um, seeing your experience of reading them.
Thank you.